Just in case you still had any hope left for humanity, today I'm going to answer the most searched questions on Google, starting with the phrase, why do black people... Why do black people say axe? I actually laughed out loud the first time I read this because I know a lot of people that say axe instead of ass. And not all of them are black, but I live in the South and everybody talks weird here, so I don't know. But I'll answer your question with a question. Have you ever said fridge or gonna or coulda or often instead of often or left the G off the end of an ing word? It's basically the same thing, verbal laziness. Everybody does it in one way or another. Why do black people have big lips? This is like asking, why does pizza have tomato sauce on? I mean, a lot of pizza has tomato sauce on it but things other than pizza have tomato sauce on it too and some pizza doesn't have tomato sauce on it what do you mean why physical characteristics are determined by genetics and evolution and everybody's genetic makeup is different this question is dumb why do black people have yellow eyes this question is a little less dumb because the reason that some people have dark skin is the same reason that many of these people notably people indigenous to Africa often have dark spots on their eyes it's the Sun bro why do black people like fried chicken I wonder how this stereotype got so widespread. It's so random and specific. I feel like it could just as well be any other food. Like, why do black people like crepes so much? To put it in perspective, more chickens are killed every year for food than there are people on planet Earth. Trust me. Everybody likes chicken. Why do black people have white palms? Well, almost everyone's palms and soles of the feet are lighter than the rest of their body. The contrast is obviously more noticeable on black people. And it's not always white though. Like I, that's, that's sort of, mine's sort of like, light brown. If you're actually interested as to why it is lighter, humans and almost all land creatures develop thicker, rougher skin in places on our body that's more likely to interact with the environment, namely our hands and feet. And melanin, which as you know is the pigment that gives our skin color, doesn't develop well in this thick layer of skin. Carotene, a yellowish pigment that is found in many of the foods that we eat, however, does. Why do black people not tip? Now it has been reported by many people in the service industry, including other black people, that black people and other racial minorities are less likely to tip well than white people. So I'm not gonna fully write it off yet. There's gotta be something going on if so many people are saying it, right? Well, I don't know for sure, but I'll give you a few ideas. Now, for one, this idea of black people don't tip is so widespread that it's quite possible that black people just naturally get worse service than other people because it's assumed that they're not gonna tip anyway. I used to be a delivery driver and some of my coworkers would deliver their orders to the black neighborhoods last, even if they weren't the last to order. And the excuse would be, well, they're not gonna tip anyway. Well, perhaps if you would stop bringing their order 20 minutes late, then they might start doing it. Just a thought. Also, black people are more likely to be poor than white people, and I imagine that broke people would be less likely to give you a fat tip. Now, why you are eating out if you have no money is a whole nother issue that I'm not going to get into right now. And finally, it's possible that a lot of black people just don't understand what it's like to depend on tips because they don't get hired at these jobs as much as white people do. Damn, flip the script on your ass, didn't I? But I certainly reject the argument that black people are just assholes. Why do black people like chicken? Why do black people like watermelon? Why do black people like grape soda? Seriously, what do you mean why? Because it's fucking good.